Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-April 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Okay, let's see Libra. <clears throat> Right. The overall energy for the reading, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I mean, this energy talks a lot about self-love, um, where you could be in that kind of a place right now, where you're focusing a lot on yourself, or trying to at least. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Seven of Swords crossed by the Hierophant. You're creating distance between you and something that seems to be quite meaningful to you. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean, oh, you're walking away from it. Um, that could imply that you're actually focusing a lot on yourself. And that in itself is kind of like if your energy is moving towards this, you're taking that back. So that in itself is going to create distance. In the focus here, the Knight of Pentacles, you're taking it easy, one day at a time kind of a thing. So it could feel like um, at this moment in time for you that you need that extra care and um, like a little bit of self TLC there <laughs> um, for some reason. It feels good. It feels like a good energy, but it is going to pull away a lot of energy from wherever you were giving energy, you know, before. In the recent past, the Nine of Cups, that feels like a pretty balanced, emotionally balanced kind of an energy here. So something was working out. Yeah, I'm not seeing um, this pooling of energy as disruptive or as, oh my god, you know? It's kind of a, a need for yourself there. Anyways, in, the, in your strength, the Ace of Swords, oh, that's what it is. You're getting ready to do something. I don't know what it is. So you're kind of building up a sense of courage or a sense of, okay, this is what I got to do let's plan on it or something you know um okay in the immediate future the tower and i'm being drawn to look at the card underneath which is the supportive energy which is the three of wands um because i feel like they go together in the sense of <sighs> something's coming up you know where even though you may plan around something to some extent or taking the time to kind of reassess things and see what needs to be done because there is something coming up for you that needs to get done um there's a delay to it too that's coming out, out outside of yourself it's coming from outside of yourself so if you if you decided okay this is how much time i'm going to take for this and then you're ready to go there's something that's happening in front of you that's looking like it's requiring you to stay put like you're not doing anything right now take take a break <laughs> like, but I just came back from my break. No, take another one, you know? That's kind of how it's looking like. Which works out. <laughs> I'm not seeing that as being an issue either. Um, it's just that this time you're taking for yourself feels right for you. And then it's like one of those energies where it's like, oh shit, I was ready. And then something happens where it tells you, no, no, no. You need, you need some more time or something. And you're like, okay, okay. All right, I'm not going to do this right now, you know. But anyways, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it, the Ten of Pentacles, this could be surrounding your home, uh, either the actual space or just the environment. So whatever's going on here. In your hopes and fears, the High Priestess, um... Yeah, I feel like you're listening to your intuition and I feel like that's where you want to stay focused. You know, a lot of um, how it feels rather than how it looks kind of an energy at play for you. Um, <clears throat> so definitely staying in tune with your intuition here through this process. Uh, for the potential outcome, the Knight of Wands. Hey, at least it's not the King of Wands. <laughs> not yet. But... The Knight of Wands, I remember 
And you know why I remember this specifically for you from your annual reading for 2024? Because um, you got me so mm, with that King of Wands that when it switched to this Knight of Wands, I remembered it. I'm like, okay, so this is this is the energy for Libra this year, I guess, the Knight of Wands. And as it turns out, potential outcome, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so there's this energy coming towards you, moving towards you here. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's clarify. Let me do the Queen of Pentacles. The Two of Cups, the Hermit, the Queen of Swords. You're trying to figure out, because something feels right for you. And it could be your connection to this Knight of Wands here, or something else, who knows. But something feels right for you in terms of aligning with another energy here. And it feels right, but it feels right a lot from especially from the perspective of it makes sense from the mind perspective, right? Um, and you want to feel into that to see if it really, really, really feels right or just looks right. And that's why you're giving yourself this time, this space and turning the energy more inward to kind of try to, to, to sit with it for a minute to see if it truly feels right. Okay. Let's do the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> The Six of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Cups. There's definitely an energy that, to me, it feels right from where I'm standing. In um, If I put it right next to you there, it feels like a perfect match, in all honesty. Um, but you are creating a sense of distance from that to figure out if, if it feels right for you, which makes sense. I can tell you until I'm blue in the face, you know, that, oh, this looks right. Oh, this feels right. Oh, until you're not going to feel it. You're not going to be convinced, you know? So to me, it makes sense that you're creating a little bit of space here to, to truly be fully aligned with this feeling. Because you know that can be deceptive sometimes where the mind is telling us a lot of times what to feel. And I feel like that's why you're doing that. No, I want to feel it, feel it. You know? Okay. Fair enough. Feels like a soul connection here. Some sort. Um... I'm not gonna say it because you're, you're you're like okay, but I want to feel it. Okay, you feel it. It could be more than meets the eye here, actually. Even on the surface, you're giving me not you, but the reading is giving me quite the good energy surrounding this. But then when it's time to take it a little deeper to see like what this is really about, I'm like. Oh, should hit the fan here in the best way possible so everything is aligning just right here on the surface on the lower than that anywhere for a particular connection here i'm just saying uh, you go ahead and feel it too but i'm just saying what i'm seeing here for the Knight of Pentacles, in your focus, you get the Three of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Cups. See, there's this distance that you're very adamant about, but it could reflect in the physical as you potentially taking a break or, you know, like, okay, I need some time here. Um, but taking your time with it, you know what I mean? There's a thin line there. You can take all the time you want in the world. Have you crossed the line into, I'm using this as an excuse to not do anything about anything? When in all actuality, the time that I've had, it's plenty of time for me to figure out what it is that I feel here. You know, I don't know. I don't know, there's that possibility there. I don't know if you've crossed the line. I see the line. I see the line right there, but I don't know if you've crossed it into using this as an excuse. I need some time to think about it. Or are you gonna cross that line? It's really up to you. Uh, it's a tricky one though, it's a tricky one. Let me see the Ace of Swords in your strength. You get the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Cups. But you know, clock is ticking, right? Like, how much time can you take, though? Especially, it's not about the time. 
it's not about the concept of time here like can i have my time please you know whatever that is yes you can it's not about the concept of time it's about when you've made a decision you know how you feel you know everything everything is aligned for you you know exactly what you need to be doing here but even though you're coming from that place of okay everything is clear you're like give me five more minutes though and i'm like why are you using those five minutes for when you know everything already what is that for that's when it gets suspicious and, and suspicious and that's when it's like what's going on here what are you trying to avoid you know um you're definitely trying to buy time here and ironically enough something happens that gives you that time you know with that tower i feel like i'm not sure if it's going to be a pleasant happening but it definitely provides you with more time it's like well you keep on stalling here you know so the universe kind of thinks okay libra needs more time okay let's make something happen so that libra gets more time you know because i feel like you're clear here from what you're showing me energetically you know what's up so why are we taking more time? Like, if you were a little on the fence or a little, I don't, I don't think Libra's got it yet with their clarity and all that, I would be like, yeah, take take all the time you need. But you don't need more time because you're done. You're clear, you know. But you keep on pulling it towards you. You keep on, no, no, five more minutes. Okay, let's see what the universe gives you. Let's do the tower. The Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Magician. And let me do the Three of Wands for the supportive energies. The Knight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Wands. It's like you're almost testing the situation, you know, by getting this time or pulling on this time string. Um, it's like you're buying time so that you can be the observer of what happens. And by that, you're kind of testing what happens, the connection, you, them, you know. So you're taking time away from this but observing this as it unfolds so you're still kind of participating in it but part of you a big part of you is mostly observing what's at play and it keeps on coming back as shockingly good even for you as you observe it's like yeah that's working out that's great why are you trying to steal this notion of time what is it i don't see fear that's the shocking revelation of what's happening you're observing that everything's fine everything's working out here which is interesting because it does keep you in the present you know it does keep you in okay let's let's see how this unfolds and then you're in the unfolding of things this is very i'm, I'm trying to get to you i'm trying to get to to that place of seeing why you keep on trying to stall when everything aligns everything falls into place in the way you feel in the way the situation presents itself i don't i don't know for the ten of pentacles and the hidden energies the hierophant the three of pentacles the queen of wands it takes it even to different levels here you know if emotionally it feels right if energetically it feels right if physically physically i mean it's starting to show up and all of that like yeah it feels right yeah it's right you know so it touches multiple levels of right basically <laughs> libra is still like i need five more minutes with it though. i need to think about it really let's do the high priestess in your hopes and fears there it is the ten of swords the ten of wands the chariot there it is have you ever told yourself while experiencing this if you've aligned with all of these energies have you ever found yourself in a place 
of even if it's for a split second thinking this is too good to be true because if you have that my dear is fear that's saying to the universe this is going to end because this is too good to be true so of course if it's too good to be true that means it's not true that means i'm i'm looking at something that is not here and you know blasting with fear through all of this there i see you there i see your fear even if it's passing in for a split second and then i see the universe responding to that it's like oh too good to be true oh okay okay we'll make it in a different way then we'll make it look different let me do the knight of wands I don't think I've ever seen energies lined up so good for you in a very long time with no disruption to them. Probably never. I've always seen like, okay, there's something over there. There's something in that corner. There's something there. There's, something. there's a full line of, with that little bit of too good to be true, like a little uh, twitch to it, but just a tiny, almost not even noticeable there, but like a full line not discontinued, not disrupted, not up and down, not when it comes to this particular energy of your attachment to another energy, everything seems and looks and feels straight up and to the point. And Libra still wants five minutes for some reason. Um but you're in it already. It's like I, I think those five minutes are for you to convince yourself or something. But that's the energy that's working towards you here and moving towards you. And it's like, you know, very determined, very clear about what they have to offer and what they want. And it matches all of everything that I see in the reading. Yeah. Let me see what the universe has. <laughs> really? I missed you. Uh, Nine of Wands, King of Wands, the Strength card. <sighs> that's what it is. That's the. That's the reason why why you're not fully here with this and you need five minutes away from this. Five more minutes. Um, it's, very, it's gonna be very hard to explain this one. It's not that, it's not that this energy right here of the King of Wands is still present or you're still, whatever this energy is or was to you you've worked a, a lot around it i know that for a fact um it's not that you're still energetically tied up to this and that's why you can't show up here it's not that um there is a very how do i put this there's a very subtle tone to this in the sense of whoever this is, is going to stick around potentially forever for you, you know, somewhere in your energy. But that doesn't mean that, oh, you know, I haven't let them go or I haven't worked through that or no. Did you accept the fact that wherever you go, whatever you do, you take this energy with you? Um, and it's not only this energy. This energy is here to teach you that lesson that whatever energy has been part of your experience so far whatever the tiniest little one all of those you're taking them with you they're almost like part of you they're almost what makes you i feel like this energy is here or was here in your life as an experience to understand that and to accept that you know this energy is now part of you and it potentially will be for the rest of your life can you accept that? Because there's a little bit of resistance there in terms of, no, I don't want that person to be part of me or that energy to be part of me for the rest of it. Whether you want it or not, it's still gonna happen. 
And whatever happened here with this energy, potentially in the past, it's your experience, it's part of you. Have you accepted that? I see quite the resistance there to that. No, I'm not taking this King of Wands with me. Never, ever, ever. I don't want to see them. No, it's not about that. You know, it's the accepting part of, yeah, this King of Wands, unfortunately for me too. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But they're part of you now. They've been part of a deeply felt experience potentially, and they're coming with wherever you go, whatever you do, you know, just as an energetic imprint kind of a thing. And I see resistance there. Maybe this is why you're not allowing yourself to fully move forward here, you know, because you're probably interpreting that as, oh, so I haven't let them go. No, you probably did. But that doesn't mean they're not coming with you for the rest of your life. What are you going to do? Not open up to any experience ever again because they're, they're there with you energetically? Probably not. You know, you just have to kind of work around the acceptance part of that. All right, let's um, do the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. You get the seer, see beyond the current situation. Yeah, that's what I keep telling you. All right, the message. Look beyond your current situation, raise your vibration and focus on love. About. Most ind indigenous people have a seer in the family or tribe. Seers are the intelligent and intuitive beings who, serves, who serve as direct channels for information on what's coming now and what's about to unfold. Um, this energy isn't about predicting your future for you, but about showing you how your intentions are creating it. A true seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so can your future. The message of this card is to let the clairvoyant within you rise up so that you can see the way forward yourself with your spiritual eyes. Extended message. Clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly enough, create your best future. You are being encouraged by your ancestral guides and angels to see beyond what you think is happening now. Don't allow your ego or doubts to play games with you. Instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost, know you're in an energetic holding space while the universe recalibrates a path that is more favorable for you. Angels of light are upgrading your energy so your experiences can be more enjoyable. You are moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening. So stay calm and keep your eyes on the price. Pretty cool. But that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.